what is up guys um, uh, homesick with the flu so just figured I'd make proper use of the time so I'm gonna knock out another video for you today um, in this one I'm gonna show you guys how to use virtual dyno um, it's basically a virtual dyno simulator um, <clears throat> from all accounts it seems to be pretty close to the actual dyno jet and Mustang Dino numbers, um, so it's a good tuning tool for all you do-it-yourself tuning enthusiasts or aspiring tuners or whatever it is you guys call yourself who mess with Speedway nodes. Uh, well, I just consider you guys enthusiasts. Yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started with this. To do this, you're gonna need obviously your ECU. In this case we're gonna be using my speed you know you're gonna need um, the tuner studio tuning software of course you're gonna need the uh, mega log viewer software and you're gonna need a laptop again obviously and a virtual dino software you get this software from what's it called I think it's virtual tuner.net or you can just do a Google search in my address box I have barnhill.bitbucket.io but um, that's the guy who made the software um, really good software so you can download here I highly recommend that you guys pitch him a donation because the software is kick ass okay we're gonna move into the Speedway no tuning software tuner studio <clears throat> How this works, we basically do a third gear pull with our car, data log it, and then upload the data log to to Virtual Dino, and you should have a pretty accurate um, plot. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> Just trying to battle this flow. Um, so we're gonna start off by here. With your car running, you're gonna go into the Tuner Studio, start log. Right, name the log whatever you want. Hit enter and then you do your foot gear log. Then make sure you do this somewhere flat and somewhere safe. Because you might be doing some pretty high speeds. I recommend old airport runways and empty roads. Don't try this on public streets. Um, after we're done with this, um, we open our virtual dyno software okay this is one of the runs i had loaded in mind previously but this is the software um you're going to need to load up the run you did so you go into whatever folder usually it's on the documents to the studio projects data logs and then you go into here but there's one trick you cannot directly load the speed we know file into here for whatever reason um, you need to basically trick this software into thinking that you're using um, a mega squirt. I'm sure what I mean. So, with my data log, I'm going to whatever folder it's in. I open it in Microsoft Notebook, and this is what you're going to end up seeing. See in the top here, we have Speedwino here, Speedwino here. This for some reason does not work with Virtual Dino. So, what you simply do. You just basically change every C speed you know, to MS3, MS2. So in my case, you have two of them. So you put, um, remove the speed you know, and add MS3. And you should be able to load a run. Um, let me sweat logs. And we have this one. I have a pretty slow laptop, so it's gonna take a little bit to load my run. Right? <clears throat> Sorry. In the drop down here, you select your vehicle, whatever vehicle it is you need. Um, you're also gonna have to input your tire height, um, gear, vehicle weight, um, <clears throat> your weight, and the weight of any extra things you have in your car. In my case, I had some other stuff here. I think I had about 70, 80, maybe more. So we're just gonna put about 270. I weigh about, <coughs> sorry, 
I weigh about 180-185 pounds. I have some parts in my car. So we're just going to settle on that. Um, I already had a profile created for my car. I changed something like my car's weight and whatnot. And then we want the SAE corrected numbers. Um, you can check your weather station. Off the top of my head, I knew mine was 28.85. And then in here, <coughs> sorry, temperature, um, it was about 89 degrees, if I recall correctly, on that run. And this is my run right in the bottom here we have boost and fuel ratios um, another trick you're gonna need to do because when I started off I had some issues I could not get the the software to display my was it the fuel ratio if I recall correctly so you go on the here file options uh, and I think it's columns and profiles. Yeah, so you need to tell the software in your speed in the log what was the actual name for the FUL ratio and what act what is the name that speed in the uses for boost. So in our case, FUL ratio is O2 and boost is map. And then you save that. It should reload. I didn't change anything, but the software will reload. <clears throat> yeah and these are my figures so i'm running about seven pounds of boost and i have a peak of 152 oh it changed again uh, the weight see weight really affects the actual power okay back up so now we have a peak of 157, 100 um, at 4900 RPM, and 169 foot pounds of torque at 4700 RPM. <clears throat> I did a couple of pulls, and the numbers are usually within 3 to 5 horsepower difference of this. Another thing you're going to need to learn to use is the smoothing tool. I usually set it to 3. Okay, this is set to 1. Okay, let's start from the top. It's moving set to zero. Okay, the moving factor is basically just bringing everything into perspective. Two looks close, but um, these wavy lines should not be there, so we're gonna go into three. I've realized that three works best for my setup, so at three, and the one last thing. <clears throat> The higher the number, well, the lower the number, sorry, the higher the horsepower and torque rating. So at zero, we have 269 mil horsepower. At six, we have 153 horsepower, which is about accurate. Um, yeah, so in this one here, the difference between the three and the six is not that much. So yeah, it's a pretty easy software to use. Um, hope this video is helpful helps one of you guys um, I'm going to start using it to tweak my car a bit see how best it works and yeah we're going to try to document the process um, we don't have a dyno locally so yeah, it's the best that I can do right now <clears throat> sorry about the low voice sorry for sounding like a grump but uh, hopefully this helps you guys anyways like share and leave a comment down below till the next time guys stay safe